Hello everybody, my name is Alex Davidson, I'm from the Hobby Quest, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build the AeroQuest Knight. So this is different from our other AeroQuest, this one is actually a little special, it is a light-up version of it. So when we first get it, we get a package just like this. This is everything we need to build, it's just these two parts, it's um, the slingshot of course, and the AeroQuest Knight itself. Now this is really cool. Uh, it actually has a built-in light that turns on. So at nighttime, this thing lights up. It is awesome. This thing is really cool. So it's not actually ready to fly when we first take this out. And uh, what I usually do is I have the kids come around. I show them what's up. I show them the, uh, the AeroQuest. And I show them, look, everyone's going to have this piece of garbage. I don't want to see these all around the room. You're going to have all these kids in the classes and they're gonna end up getting these everywhere. So, very first thing I do is I tell them to get this all together in a giant pile, and I assign one student to throw all of them out. And they're like the, uh, the garbage person for the day, like the person that takes out the garbage for everyone. So, that goes to the garbage, and all the kids have this. Now, this isn't quite ready to fly, so before I hand this out to the kids, what I do is I show them that the lines are on here, you can see the lines there and there. What we gotta do is we gotta fold it along those lines just a little bit, just like this. So we're gonna fold it just like that. There we are. You don't have to put like a really strong crease in it or anything, just something that makes it fold along the edge like that. And then we're gonna do the other line as well. And then of course we're going to flip over to the other side and do the same thing. And there we are. So this is the AeroQuest Knight. Now the thing to look out for is that you don't want to bend these too far because then it's going to create too much resistance. As it's flying, it's going to just stop midair and then fall straight back down. Of course, it's going to take a lot longer to fall down because these are further out. So it's kind of a balance. Kids don't understand that at first. It's usually a little difficult for them to understand. You know, it's not all or nothing. You actually want to get something a little in between. So with it comes this slingshot. This is just, you know, a little stick with a rubber band. Now the thing that I always point out to the kids before we fly anything, I always show them that the worst thing to do is to put your thumb in harm's way like this. So we're going to launch it like that, but if your thumb is out there, it's going to hit right into your thumb and that's going to hurt a lot. That's really bad. So what I always tell them is keep your thumb back a bit, like hold it like that. And this way, if it hits the stick, you're not in harm's way. You won't get hurt. So, uh, you show the kids that. You show them how to turn this on. Of course, during the daytime, this won't be very impressive. When this flies way up in the air, it won't be as obvious. But at nighttime, this thing is spectacular. So, that's about all there is to it. This is a, this is a really quick build. You just want to show them that you, you hold it like this. You shoot it straight up. Surprisingly, to the kids, this isn't super obvious at first. A lot of kids will actually hold it like that. So you just want to show them the way you want to hold it, just like that, and then you let go, and then it flies up.